Welcome to the Sonic Boom Video Extras. I'm Jordan ritter -Kahn. Today I'm going to take you inside episode two of our documentary podcast series, Sonic Boom, the story of how Seattle lost its NBA team. In episode two, we tell the story of the man who would eventually sell the Sonics to a group from Oklahoma, Howard Schultz. So many people consider him a villain in this story, but he's a complicated figure. He's this man whose charisma and ambition pushed him to incredible heights as Starbucks CEO, but ultimately failed him as owner of the Sonics. The big idea that we explore in this episode is mythology. It's about the people we turn into giants. One is Howard Schultz, who carries with him this built from nothing story about growing up in the projects and eventually turning Starbucks into one of the world's iconic brands. The other is Gary Payton, perhaps the legend in Sonic's history. And when these two giants clashed, the wreckage from that fight spilled all over Seattle. It angered fans, it exhausted team officials, it allowed for just enough collective apathy to eventually open the door for the Sonics to be taken away. In making this episode, the thing that was most interesting to me was looking at the relationship between owners and players. Desmond Mason told this story of going to a restaurant one night in Seattle and seeing Schultz out with his family. Uh, I was eating at a restaurant down near, actually near his house, and he walked to my table. We knew that him and Gary were bumping heads, and so he kind of was like, hey, you know, I really want you and Richard Lewis to take a more of a vocal role. You know, we see you guys being here for the long haul, for your careers. And I thought he really meant that. And like a day and a half later, I was traded to Milwaukee Bucks after having that conversation. So it hurt my feelings. He called me about 15 times, and I didn't answer. His wife wrote me a letter and I didn't reply, and uh, a year later, I ended up seeing him in Seattle at a game when I was playing in Seattle, and I walked up to him and I said, you know, Howard, I was emotional, I've moved on, I get the business now, I understand, it just hurt my feelings. I said, but I wanna let you know I understand it, and we've been great friends ever since. And it left me wondering, what is the proper relationship between NBA owners and players, and where did Schultz go wrong? Episode two of Sonic Boom is now available exclusively on Luminary.